Hey guys, Nick here. Just looking at the in-case frame case today. This is retails for $30 and I really like it. It's a hybrid style case like the candy shell with a few the soft component on the sides and the heart on the back. It has great draw protection. I really like using this. It's going to be a case I go back to quite a lot. So let's go ahead and jump on up to close-up cam and get this review rolling. Okay guys, so this is the frame case by Encase. As I said, it does retail for $30 and unfortunately with that $30 you are just getting a case. You're not getting a screen shield or a video stand or anything like that. But let's go ahead and just go over the case a little bit. First of all, you will notice that the Encase logo is, well, the Encase word is here on the side once this auto focuses. You can see it right there. If I can get the light to reflect off. There you go. The camera hole is actually really nicely cut out and just to actually show how thick this back material is let me uh, pull this in right here and you can see that that material is really thick in there it's not just a thin little sheet of this plastic it's it's pretty durable so it's definitely going to give you some nice drop protection from there and I also definitely like the fact that they kind of a ramp that in there instead of just a straight drop which so definitely um, if crud gets into there it kind of just works its way back out and does, doesn't get caught. But the side buttons are really easy to access. The silent rock or silent switch can be gotten to by just a flick of a f finger. The volume buttons, you can see, just have the raised silicone on the sides here. And even though it is the raised silicone and it does have the little bit of extra protection, you can still really, you can still actually feel a clicking of it, which you guys know I really like just for the fact that Say you're in class, you're at work, you forget your phone's in your pocket, and you need to put it on silent. You definitely know you're hitting the button, and you're not just doing no good. The silent, the uh, standby is the exact same way. It has just a raised silicone rubber, and you can also feel it click. And then the headphone port is also really nicely cut out, and it gives a big enough opening, so if you have a wider plug, it will fit. But overall, on this case, I really like it for the fact that, and my computer just turned on, which is why you're seeing this kind of glow in the back all of a sudden, I really like the fact that it, pretty much just the overall design of it, the fact that it has really nice drop protection on the back, but it's silicone rubber on the side, that way it definitely wraps around and kind of, a, kind of hugs the phone a little bit, so you're not going to get a lot of gunk inside of here, which seems to be a lot of which seems to be a big issue in my opinion with one piece cases but just to the bottom finish off the cutouts the dock connector is really well cut out they do separate cutouts for the speakers which are a little off but I really think that's just my case because I have watched a lot of other reviews on this and they are dead on in that and these are just a little off and when I say a little I mean like a millimeter or less so it's not a ton at all now you guys are seeing I'm not using a screen shield currently. Um, that's pretty much just because I've ran out. But the this when I first put this case on, it was using a screen shield. I had no issues with the, pulling a screen shield up, mainly for the fact that it does have the silicone side, so there's nothing really to pull it up. But overall, guys, I must say, if you are thinking about getting this case, you like the design of it, I would highly recommend it. I really, I really like this product. I was actually really glad I bought it, and. I just kind of have a general rule that if I think I'm going to keep a case, I actually buy it myself. That way I don't feel guilty about keeping it and not giving it back to you guys. So I did purchase this and I have absolutely no buyer's remorse about it. I am really happy about it. And I actually get quite a few compliments at work because they've started figuring out I do reviews. And once I started bringing in three different cases a week, they started questioning how I had so many. And... I've gotten a lot of compliments on this that they really like the design and I tend to agree with every single one of those that the design on this is fantastic and if you, maybe green's not your color uh, there are a ton of different colors different there's some with a they don't have the see-through back there's some that have just a flat back not flat as in like um, roundedness or anything but like flat as in like you just can't it doesn't have a transparent back that's a better way to say it and some of the backs even have like little designs on them if you buy it from Encase. But guys, I think I've gotten my point across that I really do like this case. It's staying with me. This will definitely be one I go back to quite frequently. But just to wrap it up, this was the Encase frame case, $30. And yeah, I'd buy it and I'm probably going to be buying more of these. So 
Uh, this is Nick, and I'll catch you guys later.